Hi friends, it's Monica and let's watch Shadow and Bone episode 4 of season 1. So again, with like any of the other videos of this little video series that I'm doing, I'm re-watching Shadow and Bone season 1 for the second time and I'm giving my thoughts and reactions for any easter eggs I might have missed. And if you have not watched any of the previous episodes that I've covered, episodes 1 to 3, they'll be linked in the description below. I hope you enjoy this little series and don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up while you're at it. So let's just dive right in into this episode. Dear Alina. So of course, like, they're both trying to send letters to each other, Mel and Alina, but they're not being delivered. What is she to you anyway? We see um, Mal having like a similar hand scar to Alina. Mal now is just trying to grasp what's happening and trying to just get a hold of Alina. But there's people preventing that. I'll do it. And we see how okay. Mal continues to be loyal to Alina and again, trying it at all costs to get close to her at the little palace. Morning. Morning. Do you see how quick he took off his kefta? <laughs> Please, call me Alexander. His real name, Alexander. And they're having like little bonding moments. And it's obvious to win Alina over. I love how unkempt they all look. <laughs> Far from the prying eyes of the masses. Yes. A little heist. I leave you a bullet. To remember no. me. Leaving the goat. Leaving Milo behind. And I do believe um Jasper is more of like a comic relief character in certain moments, and we do see that. But he also has obvious skills and he's a necessary morale person to the group. Or perhaps the real you has finally emerged. Another hint of getting Alina to his side, trying to mold her into whatever he wants her to be. I do know how you feel. Trying to connect with her. I should be right by your side. You and I are going to change the world, Alina. So with the Dark Link, he does such a good job at getting Alina to be more comfortable with him. And Ben Barnes does a wonderful job at portraying the subtle pushing that um, the Dark Link is trying to get Alina to be. Not enough. Not nearly enough. I really like the little scenes with Bagra and training Alina, and it might be harsh, but it's still showing how desperate Bagra is at some points. But we'll get to that. I love how they show like Inej being the spider. You're getting the blueprints of the little palace. And it's called teamwork. <laughs> we get some more Nina and Matthias interactions. That wasn't so bad. I will not take scraps from the likes of you. So with Matthias and Nina, I do like how she's defiant. She is still holding her own even when she's being captured on a ship. And Matthias is showing a little bit of kindness for her, but Again, they're at odds with each other with him being a person who hunts down Grisha and her obviously being a Grisha. So I like to see it. I like to see the small little interactions growing their tentative relationship. <laughs> East Rav can be for the Westerners. Shut, Shut up, up, Jasper. <laughs> I miss my life. So now the crows are moving towards another way to get into the palace, which is to join the traveling circus. Um, and with that, I really still like the interactions with um, Kaz and Ej and Jesper. They're just a nice little group we get going and seeing how their dynamics grow and change. I don't know why the scene is really intimate. Handing Kaz her knives. And I love the acrobatics here. And I do like those little scenes because it does showcase the talent of Inej and Jesper more. And then we have Cass being like the mastermind of their little group. We can run. Together. Together. So with the testing day with both Mel and Alina, they had a way to not be tested as Grisha, so they both got away with it on that testing day. 
and we do see how their bond continues to persevere throughout the times and it's really nice to see that. I like the little flashbacks that we're getting. Go and sleep. Like so much could be said in a look. Our own people turning their backs on us. I have been fighting this war alone. See his magic coming out, the darkness, and he's so good at what he's doing. <laughs> you are not alone. I've been waiting a long time for you. Oh, he has tears in his eyes. I don't know, like that particular scene between the Darkly and the Lena, again, it's just showing how she's growing more comfortable with him and obviously he has other intentions with her, but like you get to see the build up of their relationship and it, you just can't help but fall into it along with Alina. But comparing with them to Mal um, and Alina, it's on a different level. <laughs> Cause like with Mal and Alina, their relationship's already established and you do see how strong their relationship is and you can attest to that with them just being in each other's lives for such a long time. And they continue to show that throughout the show, but I think the development of a new relationship is always fun to watch. I think this is a very huge pivotal moment for Elena to realize that she's an independent woman, she could do whatever she wants. And like she's found her blockage and the reasoning for it. So this is where the flashback of Mal and Elena being in jail together when they were a little bit younger, I think in their teenager years, and this is where Mal gets his scar on his hand while Alina got her scar from like holding a piece of ceramic wear and she scars herself on her palm and this is Mal getting his scar from getting into a fight so he could be next to Alina Erase it Getting rid of her last attachment to Mal So a little bit of context to this clip um, Mal with his two friends, they went up more north of Fjorda and they got attacked by Fjordans in search for the stag and, well, Mal's the only one who's surviving. And then she's looking at the black kefta and she's like, okay, I'm gonna be trying out this life with the uh, Darkling. Know that when I told you about True North, I was talking about you. Poor Mal. <laughs> He's trying so hard to get to Alina. And I feel like episode four was another kind of filler episode building up for the more pivotal scenes I will see. There is that really important scene that we get with Alina des deciding to try out this new life that she has and kind of go all in. As well as the gradual build up of the Darkling and Alina's relationship. And we see the crows trying to find their way into the little palace so it's like little filler scenes here and there along with some important ones i would say episode 4 just makes you want to continue watching the show to see what happens next i don't really have much to say about what's going on in this episode except just little small tidbits i've pointed out here and there but overall it was a good episode Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and ring that notification bell to not miss any future uploads. I'll see you in the next episode.